Hey, what's up? It's Jared Vensel, also known as The Bro Pair, and these are my essentials. So my first essential would definitely be coffee. Not necessarily instant coffee. Instant coffee is kind of Before I started au pairing, I used to drink this. And when I was au pairing, the, my host family had a Keurig coffee machine and took the, those little pods. And so I used to have that and that was like absolutely amazing. But now that I'm back home in South Africa, this is kind of commonplace to have instant coffee. I mean, it's kind of the best version of instant coffee that you can get here, but yeah, it's still not the same as like a, from a Keurig machine. Years ago, I would kind of have coffee only at 4 p.m. Weirdly, I know, but always four o'clock on the dot, I would have coffee there in the afternoon. But nowadays, I'd say for the past couple of years, I've been having coffee straight up first thing in the morning before breakfast and then also at four o'clock. So I don't know, I'm kind of weird like that. So my second essential would definitely be my phone. I don't know if you can see it there. My logo there, Libro Pair. I would kind of say this is everyone's essential, the phone nowadays. But I use this to communicate with you guys. I use this to post all the memes on my Instagram page, the Bro Pair. I use this to reply to all of your comments on my YouTube channel or even on Instagram. It's how I answer all of your questions that you send me in my DMs and how I help all of you and just how, how I stay connected with you. So this is very, very important to me. Essential number three would have to be this, lotion and lip eyes. So one thing not many people know is that I used to have pretty bad, I mean, majority of people when they're growing up, they get bad skin, right? But it's usually like in high school. Mine happened after high school. So like first year in university, that's kind of when it happened. And I had pretty bad skin for quite a few years. I would say since I came back to South Africa after appearing, my skin has been the best it's ever been. And that's when did I come back? When I was 27. So kind of from in my early 20s to mid 20s, my skin was relatively bad. And so I went on this medication called Accutane. It has a lot of side effects. And one of them is like really dry skin. So that's why I started using moisturizer and then also lip eyes because my lips got really, really dry. And even after stopping the medication, I guess it's just become kind of a religious habit in a sense because I just still constantly carry lip eyes on me. I'm always putting it on. I don't know, I just like having soft and supple lips. And if I feel that my lips are dry, I kind of hate it and I get a little um, anxious about it or a little, what's the word? self-conscious about it. if I feel that my lips are dry I, I, I kind of hate it so always this will always be in my pocket and then with the lotion I hate having dry hands or a dry face I just hate that feeling so this is the one I use it's pretty pricey depending in South Africa it's pretty pricey um, but yeah it's it gets me through the day and it's quality so Cetaphil if you ever want to sponsor the bro pair I'd be more than happy to accept. <laughs> so my next essential would be this. And this, my dear friends, is... Wait, where's the front? It's a shirt. Well, it's an undershirt. But it is a Thompson T. I can't see the logo there because it's worn out. Because I wear it all the time. So the special thing about a Thompson T is that it has this kind of like padding by the underarms. So it is for sweating. So if you sweat a lot, this is the best thing for you. So I suffer from social anxiety. I have for the longest time. And whenever I was in like social situations, I would always just like the anxiety would build up and then I would start like sweating a lot. So then I'd always have like the sweat marks by my armpits. And then if I noticed that that was there, then I would get even more self-conscious because then I'm like, oh no, everyone can see that I'm sweating. Then they must think that I'm nervous, so on and so forth. So. I would always wear undershirts, um, but then I heard of this and I tried it out and I absolutely fell in love with it. Like I could wear this on the hottest day. And I mean, I got this when I was operating in Texas and Texas gets ridiculously hot. So I can wear just a t-shirt, this underneath the t-shirt in a blazing hot Texas day and you will not see one drip of sweat. Thompson T, if you ever want to sponsor the bro pair, please, because I absolutely fully love this product. And yeah, it makes me feel, in all honesty, it makes me feel a lot more confident 
when I will go out and I know that I'm wearing this underneath, I feel so much more confident. My next essential would be what I'm recording right now on. It is my camera. So I got a Canon M50. I think it was in my second year of all pairing because I kind of just wanted to take my whole YouTube channel to like the next level because I had always just recorded on a phone. So I'll put some pictures up now of what the camera looks like. And in all honesty, I love this camera. It, it helps me do quality photos for thumbnails, even quality photos just like in general, like photography for Instagram. But even for YouTube, it is absolutely perfect. If anyone had to ask me what camera they should buy to start a YouTube channel in a sense, I would recommend this one because I absolutely love this puppy. My next essential would be my laptop. So I love the brand Asus. What is it? There, that's the logo. So this is the ROG, the gaming version. Um, I'm also very much an avid gamer. So with this laptop, I edit all, all my photos. I edit all my videos for YouTube and Instagram, so on. And I also use it to, to play games. So back when I was in university, I always, I'm a very big fan of GTA and I love those games. So I always had a postcard. It was a weird postcard of a, a GTA character and I had it on my desk and I would always look up at the, that while I was studying and be like, okay, well one day I'm going to be able to have a machine that will be able to run the game. Because at the time I didn't really have a capable gaming computer. So I was always like one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. And then... I think it was the end of yeah, it was the end of my second year. I decided, you know what? I've saved up enough money. I need something to edit all my photos on and my videos for YouTube, but also I want something to play games on. And so I saved up quite a lot of money from all pairing, and so I decided to splurge on this. It was I think it was about like one thousand six hundred dollars, but I absolutely love it. In and it came out in twenty nineteen. So in 2019, this was the thinnest gaming laptop in the world, but oh, it's, this is my most prized possession. I love this thing. And this is how I edit all these videos for you. So Asus, if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> you know where to find me. So my next essential would be this, mints. So I would keep these in my wallets because going from one place to another, say that you've like eaten lunch and then now you're, you know you're gonna go see people or whatever. I would always put one of these in my mouth and like it's just like a little, it's like a piece of, what would you call it? Like it, uh, it, it, it dissolves in your mouth. If you've ever had like Chinese food and then you, they, they usually give you those like white rabbit sweets that kind of like rice paper, it's kind of like that texture, but it just like dissolves in your mouth. And it is honestly the nicest breath mint I've ever had in my entire life. I'm honestly addicted to them. And it's kind of small and compact and it fits in my wallet and it's just like absolutely perfect. So if you ever want, if you're a person who chews gum or likes mints as well and just wants to always have very fresh breath when you speak to people, this is the thing to go for. My next essential. It's not this water bottle, but this water bottle is pretty sick though. But water is my next essential. I don't drink soda. Um, I mean, I do drink alcohol here and there. <laughs> but I don't drink soda or fizzy cold drinks or any of that sugary stuff. I pretty much just only drink water and well, coffee. Yeah, I drink water all day long. I don't think I do the whole, what is it? You have to drink like a gallon or like eight glasses a day. I don't know if a gallon and eight glasses is the same. But yeah, they say drink eight glasses of water a day. I don't know if I do that, but I probably do come close. But I'm just always drinking water. This would be at the top of the list of all of essentials. So this is, if you don't drink enough water, this is your PSA to start drinking more water. But another thing, these bottles are, are absolutely amazing so if you put like ice cold fridge water in here and then leave this in your car it can be a blistering hot day in texas just for example and i would get in the car open it up and the water is as cold as if i just took it out of the fridge like right there and then i don't know how it does it this bottle can get like ridiculously hot but the water is ice ice cold i don't know what black magic these people do 
I think it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those swell bottles. But I mean, you also get Hydro Flask and whatnot. But these bottles are absolutely amazing. My next essential would be to smell amazing. So these are my colognes that I've used over the years. And so this one over here, funny story, I got this for my 21st birthday. And I don't know if you can see there, but there's a little bit, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a little bit left in there. And I've had this since my 21st birthday. I'm almost 29, bro. So what's that, eight years? And it's still not finished. <laughs> but I don't know, this was <sighs> Paco Rabanne, 1 million. Uh, my one friend had got it for his birthday and I smelt it in his when we went out the one day and I was like what's that and he showed me and I tried it and I absolutely fell in love with the smell so I was like mom for my birthday can I please get this quality scent number two this one when I was with my host family we went to a trip we went on a trip to Denmark and so I got this there in Denmark it, I think it equated to like $40 um, cause they, their currency is the Danish Krone, if I remember correctly. And yeah, it equates to like $40, but this is also, where's the hole? Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. And third, but certainly not least, this is my newest one. And it's only been taken out a little bit, but this is Sauvage by Dior. I think Johnny Depp endorses this one. Well, not endorses, but he's on the commercial for it. But this one, and it's also, mag got, the lid is magnety. Look at it. That's cool. Um, but this one smells absolutely amazing. And this I got as a Christmas present for, was it last year? No, 2019, yeah. This, I think I got this Christmas present 2019. So, to the person who got me this, you know exactly who you are. Thank you so much. And that's my cologne. And so here we come to my final essential. And that is a lint remover. So this is one, it's kind of got a texture and you can just essentially, like, essentially, brush all of the hair and stuff off of your body. Or you get those ones that are like, they roll and then you can like take off the piece of paper. This is more, it's eco-friendly in a sense because then once it's like full of hair you can just like rub the hair off put it in the trash and go about your life all hair free <laughs> but i have i don't know if you guys know this but i have two chows and those they're the dogs that kind of look like lions and so they have really long hair and they do shed quite a bit so whenever i leave the house i have to use a lint remover just to get all of the hair off of me so that i look fresh and clean to leave the house and go about my day but this if you have pets it's definitely an essential well that's it for my essentials thank you for hanging out and getting to know me just a little bit better i hope you enjoyed this time we shared and i shall see you in the next one later